Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia's longest-serving premier, Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad, mooted the revival of a council that governed the nation after its deadly May 13, 1969, race riots in his Thursday audience with the king. Dr. Mahathir claimed the National Operations Council, which was in charge for two years during the last national emergency until 1971, allowed Malaysia's second prime minister, Tun Abdul Razak Hussein, to solve political problems at the time by bringing in opposition parties to form a wider Barisan national ruling coalition that had a stronger majority. Four decades ago, Magueran was made up of a small group of political leaders from the Alliance Coalition, the precursor to BN, and top civil servants that included the police and armed forces chiefs. Dr. Mahathir is suggesting that aside from political figures across the divide, a new council can also include relevant experts on the COVID-19 pandemic. The king, Sultan Abdullah Ahmad Shah, began a series of audiences with party chiefs across the divide on Wednesday. It is set to culminate in a special discussion with the other eight state monarchs on June 16 on the deepening COVID-19 crisis and the state of emergency that is set to expire on August 1 after seven months, unless an extension is advised by the government and gains the king's assent. The emergency was imposed on January 12 with Prime Minister Mahiuddin Yassin's administration saying it was needed to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic. Dr. Mahathir led the country for 24 years across two stints and is Tan Sri Mahiuddin's immediate predecessor. The veteran politician said although the king didn't reject the idea for Magueran, he doubted that the Special Operations Council would be reconstituted because the government must suggest it to the king, but from the offing they have said we don't need it and everything is fine. On Wednesday night, Mr. Mahiuddin's principal private secretary, Mr. Marzuki Mohammed, posted a 10-minute video on Facebook claiming that though there were suggestions for Magueran to be formed again, it was not necessary. The aide said the current situation far differs from the post-election riots of 1969, widely considered as Malaysia's darkest period. Dr. Mahathir said he disagreed with the prospect of an election when raised by the king, even if it were held next year, as last year's Sabah state election showed how COVID-19 infections would spike in such an event. Malaysia has failed to recover from the surge after the September polls, and is in the midst of a lockdown after its deadliest month of the COVID-19 pandemic so far. The month of May saw all-time deaths nearly double to over 3,000 and the number of active cases and intensive care unit utilization are now at record highs. Leaders from Party Islam Shay Malaysia and the Malaysian Chinese Association, both of which are part of the Mahidin administration, and Party Waris and Sabah also had audiences with the ruler on Thursday. This followed Wednesday's meetings involving the three party chiefs in opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim's Pakatan Harapan coalition. PH wants an end to the emergency as the coronavirus outbreak has only worsened since it was proclaimed. PA Deputy President Tuan Ibrahim Tuan Man said in a statement after his audience that the party remains committed to the current government and continues to support the stance taken to tackle the COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs> 